So yesterday, Twitter's new owner, Elon Musk, made an important free speech intervention and declared that permanent bans should be reversed, rightly allowing Donald Trump back onto the platform. Are you planning to let Donald Trump back on? I guess the answer is that I, 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 I would reverse the perma ban. I'll say I'm not, I don't own Twitter yet, so this is not like a thing that will definitely happen, because what if I don't own Twitter? Um, but my opinion, and Jack Dorsey, I want to be clear, shares this opinion, uh, is that we should not have perma, perma bans. Um, I think perma bans just fundamentally undermine trust in Twitter as a, a, a town square uh, where um, everyone can uh, voice their opinion. It was a fun, I, th I think it was a morally bad decision, to be clear. An eminently sensible position from Musk to reverse the left-wing echo chamber that Twitter has become by embracing cancel culture. Now, who popped up almost immediately to comment on Musk's intervention as if he's some sort of second-grade US chat show pundit on MSNBC? None other than London's failed mayor, Sadiq Khan. If he breaks the rules, uh, the, the, he's you know, there, there needs to be consequences. What we can't afford to happen is a situation where people think social media is a space where you can behave irresponsibly, where you see an increase in uh, not just, uh, you know, racism and sexism and misogyny, but also division. I think, you know, I'd hope um, that Elon Musk, though he's in charge of Twitter, understand that. See those lovely trees? That beautiful weather? That's because Khan is at Stanford University, the most uber liberal educational institution in the world. And this Californian trip is part of a tiki tour of left-wing America, which has seen Khan branded a, quote, rock star by the equally fame-hungry New York mayor, Eric Adams, even though anyone who knows anything knows that Khan is running lawless London into the ground. Among the mayors, you like the rock star of mayors, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, why the hell, why the hell is Sadiq Khan on a jolly around New York and Los Angeles to meet more champagne quaffing members of the rich liberal elite who have no idea of the transport and crime hell he has inflicted on the UK's biggest city? Now, the official reason is they launch of a £10 million tourism campaign. But we all know what's really going on. This egomaniac doesn't give a damn about fixing London. All he cares about is adding to his personal celebrity. But serious questions must be asked by London citizens about Khan's so-called fact-finding mission to California to meet health officials and trade groups to discuss the legalisation of cannabis. London is already awash with drugs and drug dealing unrestrained by police. I see it in my own East London neighbourhood every damn night after I return home from this show. Now, you might remember Khan launched a review last April about the feasibility of decriminalising cannabis. It's a total waste of money and nothing more than an ego trip for him, given that his role as London Mayor does not even give him the power to decriminalise the wacky backy. What's more, it even goes against Labour's new hardline drug policy. Ironically, Labour, his party, had released attack ads before last week's local elections, chastising the Lib Dems for wanting to decriminalise drugs. Make no mistake, Sadiq Khan is destroying the UK's biggest and most important city. That is a story of national importance. I was travelling to work today in a black cab. And the frustrated driver, Lee, had posted this message on his little window. 
explaining how TfL have used lockdown to make London as unpleasant as possible to drive. And this little note, which was brilliant, actually, it, it concluded, London taxis, still driven by comedians, still the best, but unfortunately now governed by jokers. Khan is using London because he wants to be the next Labour leader and usher in a hard left series of policies that undermine British culture, defund the police and encourage drug use. His US tour must be called out. God knows how much it's costing. And remember, we're in the middle of a cost of living crisis. Mr. Khan, get home now. Stop talking to your doped up mates in California on your pathetic little jolly and start focusing on saving London.